What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, taking a look ahead at everything that you can expect for the up and coming week. So if you want to find out more about the return of the Iron Banner, and some amazing new weapons, a brand new Sarps Battlegrounds located over on the moon, the continuation of the Season of the Risen quest, and more importantly what Tess has available for Bright Dust this week, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below, and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Just over 60% of the viewers on the channel aren't currently subscribed, so be sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now today's video is brought to us by Dragon City. This is an amazing free to play mobile game that's available on all devices. Now to download this on yours, be sure to check out the links down in the video description below. And in Dragon City, you can collect thousands of dragons with different elements and rarities to build your awesome dragon empire. To do this, you'll need to collect food, gold and gems so you can grow and tailor your city to reach some amazing new levels. Now in order to grow your flying empire, you'll need to breed two dragons to get new dragon eggs. You can hatch these out and feed them and evolve them into even more powerful dragons. Now once you've got your dragons together you'll need to teach them new attacks that you can use in PvP fights in the combat and arenas and this is where you can challenge your friends and other dragon masters. Now on top of this you can become a member of an alliance and interact with other dragon masters and join for exclusive events and unlock special rewards. There's even several mini games each week and even a battle pass where you can claim daily prizes and awesome dragons. Now you can download the game by clicking the link in the video description below and you'll also get a free special starter pack with 15 thousand food, 30,000 gold and a fortune dragon too. It's the perfect start to your Dragon City adventure so be sure to check the links down in the video description below. Now jumping back into this week in Destiny and the Dares of Eternity loot. Now this week sees the Gentium Knight suit set return to rotation. This is the original armor set from I back in Destiny 2 vanilla and that's alongside the Curios function set. This is from the Curse of Osiris era and both of these armor sets can be earned via engrams that drop during the activity or upon activity completion itself. So if you're looking to fill out your Transmog collection and these haven't been available at Xur up until now, then be sure to jump into Dares of Eternity this week. But if you're seeking out weapons rather than armor, then you'll have all the weapons from Season of Arrivals and also Season of the Worthy become available. This includes the Nature of Beasts, the Fallen Guillotine, False Promises, Temptation's Hook, the Cold Denial, Whispering Slab, the Hollowed Words Fusion Rifle, the Serent Seraph Carbine, the Officer Revolver, the CQC Shotgun, the Serent Seraph Sidearm, the Serent Seraph VY7 Submachine Gun, the Serent Seraph Sword Machine Gun, and also the Truth Teller Grenade Launcher. There are some top tier weapons available in Dares of Eternity this week, so if there's a particular weapon that you're chasing down, then be sure to jump in to get your hands on it. Now jumping into what's new this week, we see the return of Iron Banner for Season 16. With that we get 6 weapons in the loot pool that have a unique perk called Sulking Wolf Trait. Now this activates during the hunt with enhanced radar and removes you from the enemy radar when you land those epic final blows inside the crucible. Now all the returning Iron Banner weapons will also have updated perks including the new perks that were made available this season. Now the Iron Banner is a fantastic source of pinnacle loot, so if you're still on the power grind then make sure to jump into Iron Banner this week. But if it's not power that you're after, and it's those weapons in particular, then there's two brand new weapons that you should be seeking out. One of those is called Frontier's Cry. This is a 180 RPM precision frame hand cannon. Now this has some pretty fun perks on it, including the steady hand and compulsive reloader perks, plus also the iron reach perk, which allows it to exceed the range that's normally available on a precision frame hand cannon. Alongside Frontier's Cry, we also have Razor's Edge. This is a vortex frame sword that deals void damage. Now this has some pretty potent perk combo combinations on it as well including Wellspring, Unrelenting and even Chain Reaction. Now both of these new weapons sound absolutely awesome so be sure to jump into Iron Banner to get your hands on them. Now next up we're going to move on to weekly challenges and we have a brand new weekly mission for week 4. This week's mission is The Cunning which is in fact the 6th mission from the Witch Queen campaign. Now the weekly missions are great sources for Ascendant Alloy and these drop on the Hero, Legend and Master difficulty. And remember guys if you haven't visited Master Rahul over in the courtyard he has a 2 for 1 offer on Ascendant Alloy right now. This is a one time purchase so make sure to make the most of it by heading over to the tower and picking those up. 
Now next up we have Wellspring. Now upon this week's weekly reset we'll see the Defend version of this in rotation and this will be dropping the Tarnation Grenade Launcher. So if you're still seeking out one of those deep sight resonance versions of those weapons for your exotic glaive quest then make sure to jump into that upon this week's weekly reset. But upon posting this video on the Monday the Come to Pass Auto Rifle is also available. So for the next few days you have both weapons in rotation that you need to get to get this quest done. And if you have that quest already completed then be sure to jump into wellspring anyway as once you've completed the exotic quest to unlock at least one of the exotic glaives then the two remaining patterns for the final two glaives will start dropping as random drops upon wellspring completions they are very rare drops and whilst they are hard to come by the patterns for these exotic glaives will drop on absolutely any class so even if you're on a warlock for example you can still get the patterns for the hunter and titan glaive so whether you're looking to get that quest underway to get your first glaive in your collection or you want to get the final two patterns for your final two glaives to save yourself some time on your other characters then definitely make sure you jump into Wellspring this week. Now moving on from Wellspring and over to PsyOps Battleground we have week four of this week's seasonal quest and things get a bit spicy in this up and coming week. We're not going to do any spoilers in this video today but there's a new PsyOps Battleground activity that takes place over on the moon. Upon completing this, Keitel will return to the tower and there'll be a very juicy cutscene and some narrative this week. Now it's with that in mind, what I will say is expect a major bombshell upon this week's weekly quest. Now moving on from the weekly challenges and into the weekly rituals, we have a brand new nightfall for the up and coming week and this can be found over in the Glassway. The Grandmaster difficulty and the Adept versions of those weapons won't be available until the 5th of April. Now unfortunately we are still working out the rotation for all the Nightfall exclusive weapons so it's with that in mind once we find it out we'll be sure to add it to the video description down below. Now as we touched upon earlier in the video we have the return of the Iron Banner and alongside that we also see Showdown return to rotation and to partner both of those game modes we also see bonus Crucible ranks all week long. It's the perfect partner to Iron Banner and a fantastic way to earn some additional powerful rewards. Now moving on from the weekly rituals and over to the raid challenge we're going to be focusing on the vault of glass this week now the raid challenge over in the vault can be found at an atheon encounter and this will be the ensembles refrain challenge now this is where every player that is teleported can only destroy one oracle during each spawn set it will take excellent communication and a well coordinated team to get this done but if you can do it not only will we get some sweet pinnacle loot it will unlock an extra raid chest and for you master difficulty gamers amongst us you'll also get access to the time loss weapon this week this week sees the corrective measure in rotation which is one of the best legendary machine guns available in the game and as we know the time loss weapons have second perks in the third and fourth column which gives you that god roll each and every time now next up we have seasonal challenges and we have eight brand new weekly challenges in week four of season of the risen the first one's called operation elberus week four so you need to complete week four of operation elberus and focus umbral engrams at the war table over in the helm using the risen umbral energy we also need to collect umbral energy by decoding runic chests at the end of the psyops battlegrounds that's alongside rippling wings so in the throne world you need to collect three moths and destroy three darkness rifts next up we have weapon shape three so you need to increase weapon mastery for a shaped weapon and reshape a weapon over in the Englave. That's alongside Mod Collector, and you need to unlock 12 artifact mods this season. Alongside this, we have Precision Calibration, so you need to calibrate marksman weapons. This includes scout rifles, sniper rifles, and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows. And you also get bonus progress against guardians. Next up, we have High Value Hunter, so you need to defeat powerful combatants in Gambit and earn bonus progress by defeating high value targets. And alongside this, we have Iron Sharpens Iron, and you need to complete Iron Banner matches and you earn bonus progress for wins. And the final challenge this week is called Darkness Nightfall and you need to complete the Nightfall Strike on Hero Difficulty or higher. And by completing that challenge you'll also get access to the exclusive Nightfall Weapon for the week. Now from here we're going to move over to the Lost Sector and this applies for Tuesday the 15th of March only. Now the Lost Sector can be found over in the Throne World over in Extraction. Now you are able to select the Legend or Master Difficulty upon entry and by completing this you have a chance to get your hands on some brand new exotic helmets. So whether it's some of the new helmets that were introduced with the Witch Queen or if you're still collecting them from previous seasons then make sure to head over to Extraction upon this week's weekly reset. Now with the weekly formalities out of the way it's time to move on to one of the most important parts of the week and that's what Tess has available for Bright Dust in week 4 of Season of the Risen. 
Now over in the main featured shelf you have the Metropolis Flyer, an exotic sparrow that was introduced in Season of the Risen. This was available in week 2 for silver, but if you want to save those real world pennies you can pick it up this week for 2500 bright dust. That's alongside a legendary emote called the Dastardly Stash. Once again this is brand new this season and was available last week for silver, but can be picked up right now for 700 bright dust this week. Alongside this we have the Eremis Ghost Projection from Season of the Hunt, so if you missed out on it back then you can pick it up right now for 1500 Bright Dust. And the shader for this week is the Jacarina. Now this is one of the most sought after shaders in the Eververse inventory. So if you don't have it in your collection, you can pick it up right now for 300 Bright Dust. Now over in the main Bright Dust store, we have the Commanding Presence. This is an exotic emote, which was introduced in Season of Arrivals. Now this is very much a Destiny 1 throwback. So if you missed out on it back then, you can pick it up right now for 3,250 Bright Dust. Alongside that we have another legendary emote called Hat Wobble. This was introduced in the 30th anniversary pack. So if you're collecting these you can add this to your emote wheel for 700 Bright Dust. Alongside that we have August Corsa, an exotic sparrow that was introduced in Season of Arrivals as well. Now this is part of a cosmetic set and we even had the August Ghost sold a few weeks ago. So if you're collecting all of these you can pick it up this week for 2500 Bright Dust. Next we have the Tex Mechanica Exotic Ghost Shell. This was introduced in the Season of Dawn way back in Season 9. So once again if you're a collector and missed out on it you can pick it up right now for 2850 Bright Dust. Now next up we have exotic armor ornaments and these will vary depending on which class of guardian you visit Tess with. For you hunters you have a knucklehead radar ornament called the Nine Days or Nights. Now for you titans you have one for your Symphoseps this week called Photodrolic Akitas and for you warlocks you have one for your Ophidian Aspects and these are called Coaxal Bonds. Now each one of these ornaments will set you back 1500 Bright Dust so if you're looking to collect them all be sure to visit Tess with each and every class. Next we have the Pegasus Ghost Projection, way back from Season of the Chosen, so if you missed out on it back then you can pick it up now for 1500 Bright Dust. And the final item on offer this week is a exotic weapon ornament for the last word. This is called the Stagecoach and was introduced in the 30th anniversary pack. So if you missed out on it on last season's event you can pick it up now for 1250 Bright Dust. Now once again massive thank you for Dragon City for sponsoring today's video and remember to download the game by clicking the link in the description down below or by scanning the QR code that you see here on screen. This will grant you a free special starter pack to help you start your Dragon City adventure. So there we have it guys, another This Week in Destiny. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.